everyone and welcome to your first YouTube lesson video. Today we're going to be looking at German Expressionism or just beginning to start our exploration into it. Today is going to be the doing a drawing by a artist called Karl Schmidt Rutluff. Rutluff. I'm afraid I can't say his name that well despite having taken German GCSE. All you're going to today is a piece of A5 paper. I am using my sketchbook but I know you guys don't have it. So you can use anything you can get your hands on. You can use line paper, you can use uh, square paper from your maths books, just don't tell your maths teachers. You can use the back of cereal packaging or even Amazon packaging. Whatever you can get your hands on you can use. You also need a pen, a pencil and uh, a rubber. So I've got two different pen options, I haven't decided which one I'm going to use yet. But you'll need a rubber as well, so mine's on the bottom of my pencil, that's just in case I make a mistake. So the image you're going to be drawing is attached to your class charts. It's a simple woodblock uh, print. Um, and we're going to be looking across quite a few of these in the next few weeks as we look more into German Expressionism. Normally we'd be using these lessons to start using acrylic but unfortunately as we're not in school that's not possible so we'll come back to post-impressionism and we'll come back to using some more um acrylic watercolors and different paints different materials um when you guys are back at school but for the time being we're pretty much limited to pencil and pen but we're going to make it work we're going to come up with some interesting lessons as well so what you need to do is you need to have this video open uh, in one window and your reference image open in another and this is so you can look at both um, it's always good if you can look back at your image it's always, good, it's always going to be helpful so we're going to start off with quite a simple one to begin with so what we're going to do is if you make sure your paper is A5 which is about the same size as your sketchbook we're just going to sketch out a simple border around the page you can use anything with a straight edge, you can use a ruler or the side of a book to do this. Apologise for any outside noise you're going to be hearing over the next few weeks. Unfortunately, we're all working from home at the moment and that's just unavoidable. You may have also noticed that you're kind of balanced on top of books. so. Gonna be some interesting angles over the next few weeks so you need to have sketched out this line which if you look at your image on your um on class charts this is the outline or that black outline you see which would be the plate so when printmaking this is something called a plate and this is quite a heavy there's quite a lot of dark black in this it's one of the reasons i chose it was because of its simplicity and it's just a good introduction so what we're going to do is we're going to start off to move this over a little bit. Start off drawing an oval shape. So you might see as we go over this in the next few weeks some similarities with other other artists, probably some more slightly more famous ones like Picasso or uh, Kathy Kollowitz. So German Expressionism was a movement within itself and has some really interesting features. And this is my favourite um, form of print, well, my favourite form of art, which is printmaking. So we're going to start off with the face. It might take a bit of adjusting, but the good thing about this is that we're not necessarily making sure everything is accurate. Accurate? It just needs to be as close as we can get it. So I'm just blocking in my basic shapes at the moment. So I've drawn the oval head. I might in a minute actually make that a bit smaller. Or more than likely probably will. And change the angle of it a bit. So like so. Don't forget to use light sketchy lines to begin with. Just going to draw. Draw where the body might be. 
I'm just going to make my head a little bit smaller. Got light sketchy lines, just the basic shapes to begin with. Here's my hand. It's like so, so I'm using curved lines. So, woodblock printing, which is the uh, style or the format used by this artist, is when you take a piece of normally like laminated or quite a soft wood. Um, and you chip away, you take away um, the white, so what would be the white? So where the image is white, that's what's been taken away of the wood. And what is left behind is what is printed. Very similar to lino cut print, lino, make, lino. Um, so what you take away isn't what is printed, what is left is behind. Is what is printing is what is printed, and quite often you work in reverse as well. So you have to keep various things in mind when you are printmaking. So just look over your image. Don't know why I just drawn that back in. Look at your outlines. What I would suggest doing is drawing where so the thickness, so where there's a thick back line, I draw that in. Making these kind of kind of lines that you're almost gonna colour in between. You can watch this video as many times as you need to. You can replay it, rewatch it as you need. And hopefully, as it gets further on, it'll be easier to follow. I'm probably going to speed the video up a little bit at this point. But feel free to rewatch it as many times as you need to. Go back, rewind, slow it down if you can. Just follow along with what I'm doing.
so now that the outline is sketched quite roughly uh, it's not the perfect drawing by any stretch of the imagination it's quite rough um, but it that lends itself to the style so what you're going to do now you're going to take your pen i'm just going to use a biro and i suggest using a uh, different mark making and being quite quick and rough with it so i'm just going to I've got the black option on my pen open and I'm just going to start where I think is going to be best for me to understand and not make any mistakes as I go. So I'm going to outline the face first. I'm going to be quite quick, cross everything over. So if we were in lessons, this would be we'd be doing this in stick and ink, and we'd be try experimenting with different um, techniques. Maybe even do some, doing some more mono printing. And hopefully, in a few weeks, that will all resume. And we'll all get back to experimenting. So just messily and quickly try and keep the edges of your lines quite neat but the insides where you're going to be filling in feel free to kind of do that quite rough and quite quick so I'm going to speed this up again
Okay, so that took me just shy of half an hour to do. So don't forget that once you've finished this, you need to take a photo of it and upload it to class charts. And you also need to keep a hold of any drawings you do over the next five weeks. Because when you come back to school, we will stick them into your books. So the work you're doing now uh, is the same work, the same expectations, the same curriculum that you'd be doing if you were at school. Just with slight changes, but it's all still relevant and it all still needs to be evidenced in your books. So when you come back. So that is it. You can replay this video as many times as you want. This, the drawing should take the whole, pretty much the whole lesson, so around 40 or 50 minutes. Um, so yeah, you need to uh, make sure it's all done and photographed and handed in. And I'll see you next time.